Vance could block that. It's Justin Simon creating and scoring. You asked for it, Jack. How good. Yes, yeah, the Kings aiming to go back to back when the grand final series against the Breakers begins on Friday. And we're joined by star import Justin Simon. Uh, welcome to the show. Lovely to have yeah. you here. Yeah, good Thank to have you, mate. Thank I you. usually begin proceedings with a, a stupid question uh, and follow up with a couple more stupid questions. Um, of all the numbers you could choose to wear on your playing shirt, yeah. you choose zero. Uh huh. Is <laughs> <laughs> is there meaning in it. that nothingness or not? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit. My number actually is number five. Um, but Angus Glover, he wears that number. Um, let's see, zero. Uh, some of my friends, they used to call me like double O Sime growing up. So I used to always say like I'm low key. So uh, maybe in college, that's when they started calling me double O Sime. So I just chose zero. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing, yeah, nothing I love really it. crazy. It's working. Y you've, yeah, right. <laughs> you, you've played uh, at, in Wollongong at Ill Illawarra before. Now you're back with the Kings. Yes. How has the move north been for you? It's been great. It's been great. You know, uh, a lot of different things to get into in this environment out here in Sydney. Sydney he has a lot to offer. Um, amazing beaches. Um, just it's a great vibe, and uh, you know the the club itself, Sydney, uh, the Kings. You know it's a great, wonderful organization, um, historic club, and a lot of resources. So it's been great to me. Um, so you've, you've played, you've got the finals coming up, you've played the Breakers three times this year, you yes. lost twice, um, you won twice in New mm -hmm. Zealand, yeah. but then when they came out here, mm -hmm. they beat you um, in, in your fortress. How are you going to turn that around? Yeah, uh, we just got to learn from what uh, helped us and uh, learn from what beat us. Um, they're a real physical team, so, you know, we just got to make sure we're all on the same page and uh, match their physicality and their intensity. Um, it's it's going to be a great environment. It's going to be a great environment. Mm. Uh, really just anxious and can't wait to get it, you know, going. You come from Los Angeles, I assume you're a Lakers fan. Who was the poster <laughs> on the wall growing up, the king? Oh, man. Kobe Bryant, man. Kobe Bryant, hands down. <laughs> what? Uh, like, just tell us what you loved about him. Man, uh, you just hear so much about his work ethic. You see his drive, his passion out there on the court. Um, just uh, everything about him. I just, I, for me, I just loved his approach as far as to the game, his mindset, and uh, you know, really that mama mentality. Uh, you can really feel it growing up and um, and now and everything. Yeah, definitely. Can we talk about? Have you seen the movie White Men Can't Jump? <laughs> yeah, 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 for of sure. There's, I need to talk about this. There's one kid that is dispelling this myth, and uh -huh. he was at the NBA oh, dunk yeah, yeah. contest. Uh -huh. Back for Matt, yeah, this guy, he looks like an IT consultant. Uh -huh, man. He's six foot two, <laughs> but this guy can hey, jump. Athletic, man. Justin, it's unbelievable. How do you do that? Listen. And I, your dunking as well is, I mean, you're very aggressive and going to the, to the hoop like that is unbelievable. Is that something that you need to work on? I mean, I, if you know about this guy, he's been doing this since high school. It's, yeah. uh, it's actually funny. I played against him in college, too. Wow. Uh, he went to Georgetown with the St. John's. But, uh, man, yeah, it's something, yeah, you work on when you're young and growing up. I mean, for me, I just know. Uh, about it yourself. Let's have, <laughs> let's have a vision of you. Yeah, no, right? Well, no, definitely, man. Uh, just, just being oh, athletic. Wow. Uh, being athletic, making plays at the rim. I mean, for me, you, you dream and watch guys. Being, you know, playing, so playing above the rim and dunking and yeah. just, it's just so much fun, yeah. uh, you know. I, yeah, it's just, you see that growing up. Is it, Frank? Because, yeah. I mean, I, I tore my calf muscle walking in thongs the other day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. My slam dunking day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that feeling, is that still, is, is it just unbridled joy? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Just getting up there and, uh, you know, just that yeah. adrenaline and everything and just being, I don't know, just getting on the rim, hanging on and swinging on. And it, it makes it even better when someone's down there, too, yeah. you know. Yeah. You get a really, you know, a lot of emotion, a lot of swag. I don't know, it's just real fun. On a personal level, you've had a really great season. You won mm. the Sydney Kings Defensive Player of the Year, but then at the, the NBL mm. Awards, yeah. you were shafted and didn't even make the finals. Yeah. What did you think of that? Um, I mean, honestly, not too much. You know, for me, I kind of like to prepare myself for any type of situation or scenario that happens so that I'm not surprised. But, um, yeah, not surprised at all. They chose some great candidates. Um, for me, myself, I've won that award three times on three different continents. So I think when people hear my name, they <laughs> all automatically think about defense. So, you know, I, it would be nice to have that under my belt again, you know, to add that to my collection. But for the most part, I'm really trying to hoist that trophy. I love the way your media guy put it there. Like, he was very subtle when he said that you missed out. He said he, in capital letters on the release, oh, no. said you were downright shafty. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you did make the, the NBL team of the year, of course. And, uh -huh. and just listening to you talking about 
yeah, you're seen as a defensive player, but we just saw what you mm. can do. Yeah. What, what, what's your favourite part? Do you prefer scoring oh, points or stopping points? Oh, man. Are you a, are you a Rodman or are you a Michael <laughs> Jordan? <laughs> I like to think I'm capable of being both. It all depends on the <laughs> night. Um, but, man, I couldn't tell you for the most part, uh, growing up, I mean, I feel like the biggest reason why I chose basketball over football growing up was because I can dunk. Yeah. So probably just the offensive side of things. But uh, yeah, man, I love stopping people, you know, mucking the game up and <laughs> kind of getting people mad and upset. I don't know. I, I take pride of that in. So yeah, so I'm doing like smile on people mad. Exactly. Is, is super coach Chase Buford? Uh, <laughs> he, he's just quite an emotional human, isn't he? 100. percent He's real. He's real passionate. He's gonna get after it. He's gonna wear his emotions on the sleeve. He's gonna wear it. Whatever, however he's feeling, he's thinking. He's going to wear it. Uh, yeah. And it all happens this week. All the best for uh -huh, no, Friday sure. and the competition. Absolutely. Brilliant. Appreciate Lovely that. to talk to you. Come no, back thank to you guys. soon. You can catch uh, Game 1 of the NBL Championship Series uh, on Friday live on ESPN from 7.30pm. And for those interested in heading to the game, why wouldn't you be? It's at Kudos yeah. Bank Arena. Get your tickets via Ticketek again. Thank you so, yes, much. Thank you so much. Coming up, Appreciate our Champ of the Week is next. Stick around. Yes, yes.